hey you guys so I'm currently on a mission I am trying to hang my plants on my wall if you watch my previous vlog you saw that I'm trying to do this thing that I saw on TikTok so let me show you guys what it's looking like so first of all I hung that thing that my friend gave me gave me she made it it's not it's supposed to be like a lamp thing but obviously there's nothing there there's no um light bulb it's just for the looks um i like it it looks really cute i think uh please ignore it i did it with those um tachuelas i don't know how to say it in spanish in english i mean but they're pink uh that's gonna get fixed i put that just there meanwhile but i'm gonna figure out how to hang it um but anyways i'm talking about these so the plan is to fill them up with water and put a stem in there so hopefully they can grow um i have a bunch here but i don't think i have enough plants in there sorry i don't have enough stems to fill all those up so i think i'm gonna buy another plant but the problem here is that i'm supposed to these little things are supposed to go all the way into the wall and they're still kind of sticking out so i'm worried that they're not gonna they're gonna hold they, they do feel like they're really stuck in there but I don't know, it's gonna be full of water and it's gonna be it's gonna add some weight. So we're gonna do it together and we're gonna see how it's gonna work out. Honestly, I'm nervous. I did scoot the couch a little bit more towards the wall just in case they do fall. And this is the plan that we're gonna be cutting. Um, so wish me luck, guys. Let's do it. Wish me luck. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I think we're gonna cut it from let me first cut the dead ones. Oh, came right off. Oh my god, I'm nervous. I hope I don't ruin this. If you're a professional plant owner, please don't come at me. So I'm gonna cut it from, I'm gonna cut this one. No, it's gonna look bald. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. I heard that you cut it like this ah i did it okay this is nothing i need one that has two probably this one okay this one should be good please lord talk to me oh, i did it okay i cut these two um honestly i think this is how i was supposed to do it this like this one do you see how it has like a little stem growing versus this one i don't know if this is gonna survive but we're gonna make it work so next step is to put them in water this is the goal it should look something like this so i guess i'm just gonna put them in here like this and put water ah i did it so this is this one should be better so we're gonna add it okay like this uh, i'm gonna fill them up with water and then put them on the wall i'm gonna hang them first ah They do look cute, I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully they don't die on me because I'm gonna cry. Okay, I think that should be enough. Oh my god, please don't fall. Please don't fall. Oh my god, I can't What do you guys think? I feel like they look so beautiful. Now let's just hope they don't fall and they grow. I'll keep you guys updated throughout Vlogmas. And see how my babies are doing. This is how this plant ended up looking. It looks bald inside. It looks kind of bald. Hopefully it's not mad at me. It took, oh my God, it looks so weird. Whatever, hopefully it grows. So I just wanted to show you guys how my living room's looking. I have not really like, since I moved here, I haven't really decorated or anything, but I feel like that lamp and those plants added a nice touch to it. So I'm gonna get ready because I gotta go to run some errands and I'll catch you guys later. Hey guys, so I am back from the gym and I wanna talk to you guys a little bit about macros. Excuse my crusty self i look really uh, right now but i just got out of the gym and i want to talk to you guys about macros i know a lot of you guys have questions on macros what are macros how to track them so i'm going to teach you how i track them so um first of all the app that i use is this one this one it's called my fitness pal i've been using this for years guys years it's different now than how it used to be back then so it's kind of weird i'm going to log the breakfast that i had that i ate in the morning i ate pancakes a one egg and one egg white um, and a turkey bacon so I'm gonna go ahead and log that so you can see how easy it is so do look at my macros um, everyone has different macros those are not my macros right now I'm just gonna show you guys how it is 
so how I track them. So um, I have breakfast, breakfast number two, I don't know why I have that. I have lunch, snack, dinner, bedtime. Um, I don't have that many meals all the time, but I do have sometimes like five meals a day. And they're not like big meals. It's like uh, some are bigger than others, some are snacks, some are just um, bigger meals. Uh, but I try to have a smaller meal throughout the day versus just two big meals or a lot of people eat once a day. That's a personal choice, but I've been used to eating more often with a small, smaller meals throughout the day. So for breakfast, we're gonna go ahead and add it. You used to be able to scan, but now you have to pay a membership and I'm not gonna pay, so. It's very easy, guys. Um, all you have to do is, for example, this. We're gonna track this. I measured half a cup because that's what the serving is. You have to be, you always have to read the nutrition facts. It's super important. So it's 180 calories for half a cup of uh, just batter, like the little polvito, the, the actual batter. So we're gonna track that. I'm gonna search for Kodiak. Kodiak Power Kicks, here it is. As you guys can see, it's 90 calories, half a cup, it's the same one. So it's half a cup already. If I were to, let's say, pretend I'm eating one fourth cup, I'm gonna choose, where is it, one cup, and I'm gonna do one fourth. If I were to eat one fourth of a cup, it would be this. But since I ate half a cup, it's already there, and I ate half a cup. So I eat one serving of half a cup. So if you wanna double check that the macros are there, this is how it is, 190 calories, 30 carbs, 14 protein. So it's the same as the box, 30 carbs, 14 protein. So make sure that it matches, because sometimes you, there'll be, there's, sometimes there's some that don't match, um, and they're just different here in the app. So make sure it matches everything. So we're gonna check that, because we had half a cup. I had one egg. I know one egg is 70 calories from the top of my head, so I searched one, one egg. There we go. That's one egg. Here are the macros, 70 calories. I always look at pro, uh, carbs, one, and protein, six. So I have one egg, and then I had one egg white. So I'm gonna search egg whites. It should be 17 calories. So search, there we go, 17 calories. This is the egg white. I had turkey bacon. Uh, I'm gonna look at the brand that I had. I think I have a package here. So, turkey bacon, turkey, um, cured turkey bacon. Let's see if it comes up. This is 45 calories for one slice. So, uncured. There we go. Let me see if it's the same one. This is Trader Joe's. Uh, no, Trader Joe's is different. So, uncured turkey bacon. And the one that I ate has 45 calories. So here it is, I had one slice. If I had two, obviously I'm gonna change to two servings, but I only had one. So there we go. And then I did have a Celsius. So I'm gonna track it. It should be already here because I always drink it and it just automatically comes up. It's 10 calories. We cannot forget the syrup because it's important to track everything when you're tracking macros because if you miss certain things, you're gonna eat more than what you think you are and your, your your macros are not gonna be accurate. So very important that you track every single thing that you eat. So this is the syrup that I ate as you guys saw. So I'm gonna go ahead and look it up. It's called Maple Grove. So maple. Oh, here you, I have it here. I had two tablespoons, which is one serving, five calories. So my breakfast was a total of 337 calories as you guys can see if I want to look at the full macros I'll just go to nutrition and I had for breakfast I had 30 grams of protein 36 grams of carbs 7 fiber 9 fat which is I feel like it's a super good and complete breakfast I always try to eat a high protein breakfast just because I know protein is something uh, a lot of people struggle with hitting so I always try to have protein throughout the day. If you guys are interested in macros, how to track macros, how to uh, figure out your own macros, you can message me. I do coaching. There's also some websites that uh, can help you figure out your macros. I'm not sure how accurate they are, but you can try those. Or you can message me and I'll be happy to be your coach. This is just an example of how to track macros. Of course, if you're eating out, it's gonna be harder because you don't know exactly how they cook it and I don't know if the calories they have on their menus are actually true 
so what I do when I eat out, I try to estimate like, okay, like I ate chicken breast and then I'll add in, sometimes I'll overestimate just to make sure that I'm not going over my macros. So when I track macros, I try to not eat really out as much just because I don't want to struggle with finding what I ate and it's just a struggle. Um, tracking macros, it helped me a lot with my weight loss. I learned a lot about nutrition. You, of course, you need to know what proteins are, what carbs are, and what fats are. Those are the main macronutrients, so it's important that you know the difference between those macros. And again, if you're starting to count macros, don't get discouraged, don't get frustrated. It's hard at first because it's like a new type of lifestyle. So try and learn as you go. I always plan ahead. I always uh, track already what I'm gonna eat the next day. That way I know and I just stick to those meals and I don't have to figure out things out like right there and then. Water is super important also. You don't have to track it, but you can. Just keep and just keep track of how much you're drinking. I try to avoid juices and stuff like that because it's literally, there are unnecessary sugars and carbs that you, sh for me, it, they're pointless because I'm just drinking a bunch of sugar that they're not really gonna fill me up or make me, you know, like take my hunger. So I'd rather eat in volume a lot of vegetables because they have the least calories for the mo the volume that you get. So I always try to have salad, vegetables, uh, lean proteins, like chicken breast, turkey, egg whites, um, egg. I always mix like an egg with an egg white or an egg with two egg whites or stuff like that. Uh, so try and learn a lot about nutrition. Start reading nutrition facts, super important because you learn a lot and then you actually realize how much you're eating and the serving size sometimes we eat like two or three of those that's when i started to try macros i started to realize that i'm like oh my god am i really eating that much or was i really eating that much back then so if you start looking at your, the nutrition facts and the serving size you're gonna realize that you were probably been overeating that's why you haven't been able to lose weight um if you're starting i do suggest that you buy a food scale that way you start learning how four ounces of chicken looks or how uh, five ounces of blueberries looks like. So you could kind of start learning that way. Once you lose weight and you want to kind of maintain, you can guesstimate and you don't have to track. You can eat intuitively, but by then you're going to learn already what a portion looks like, you know, super important. So I hope this was helpful. If you guys want more like a more detailed video on macros, let me know. For with more foods i'd be happy to do it i want to show you guys briefly how i track them so yeah guys thank you so much for watching i love you guys so much thank you for your support your love please don't forget to subscribe and like this video turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos and it's a little bell that should be somewhere here click that or else you're not gonna know when i upload thank you again i love you guys so much i'm gonna go shower now and get ready to for bed because i'm super tired and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please don't forget to do what's right now. It's easy. And I'm going to leave all my links in the description box below. I love you guys. Bye.